Today, I'm going to share with you a simple question that can help you have a much more valuable day. Many of the people that I work with, myself included, want to make a difference in the world. And we know that that's going to take some hard work, and we often show up most days ready to do hard work. But unfortunately, doing hard work or effortful work that feels hard isn't necessarily the same as creating value. So if we can't just think that we've had a good day because we've worked really hard or put in a lot of hours, how can we think about it? Something that I found really helpful is to use a challenge question to help redirect myself to what I think is most valuable. It started out initially just asking myself in the morning, how can I create the value that I or the organization needs, not in eight hours, but in six hours? That forced me to confront what kind of value am I creating? It also gave me this creative constraint of saying, not in an infinite amount of time, but in a foreshortened amount of time. This really forced me to narrow down my focus and think about what is it that I truly prioritize for this organization or for myself or this project that I want to move forward. And then I extended it. I said, how can I create the value I or this organization need in the next four hours? Now I'm starting to feel some pressure. I really need to know that I understand the question of what's the value that I'm creating. The natural end to this, of course, is how can I create the value that I or this organization need in the next hour? I found this to be an incredibly helpful question that I start many days with. Is this really helpful? I mean, you can't do this on most days, right? Many of the projects that you're going to be involved in are complex or rely on others, and you can't really do everything you need to get done in the single hour. So how can it be helpful? It's really helpful for two reasons. One is that it forces you to think about value and not time. That's going to be incredibly helpful for you in structuring your day. And the second thing is that it forces you to rank and prioritize what you think is most valuable. The big win, of course, would be if you actually have a way to do this, which I think in many areas, some people do where you truly could create the most value you generate that day in that single hour. Is this totally crazy thinking? Well, the Pareto principle would suggest that 20% of your time generates 80% of the value that you have. If you could really hone your work priorities such that you completed those two hours the first thing in the day, that would be pretty amazing. It has actually happened that once or twice, I've recognized that the most important thing for me to do is I've actually done it in that first hour, and the rest of the day has been a gift. Just a warning, this is really hard. And it's really hard because for most people and organizations don't quite understand how those actions of that individual tie into creating value, or it's not immediately a direct relationship. In these two settings, it's really worth having yourself forced to be have this conversation or create the mapping by which your indirect actions actually contribute to value. I worked in a number of organizations in which we didn't do this. We didn't accurately tie for the developers how the work that they did was directly tied to the outcomes of improving the care of patients or financial outcome of the company. And that meant that it was a lot harder to motivate them despite working in a very meaningful organization. It was often true then that there were many days in which I was able to get the best part of the value for that day done within the first hour. I think you can too. So even though this is really hard, I've seen that most people actually have good skill that can already help them. And that's their internal compass for what makes for a good day. For most people, this is not what's easy and comfortable, but how did I move something forward? This is really good to do in the moment if you're unable to sit down and do the work needed to quickly understand how you're getting to value. If you've got stuff you've just been told to do and you feel you have to get that done. It's also a good measure when you're looking back over your week, sort of just reflecting on what the elements are, to just think through, how did my internal compass rate this day? This can be a very helpful guide as you begin your next week, beginning with the challenge question, and hopefully, finding an answer for yourself. Another way to phrase this that some people have found helpful is instead to ask, what could I do in the first hour of work today that alone would make today a good day? So the key takeaway from this video is a simple question that can help you move from hard, effortful work to valuable work. And that question is, how can I create the value that I or this organization needs in the next hour? As we said, even if it's not possible, you're going to really deepen your understanding of what's valuable and you're far more likely to have an incredibly valuable day. I hope that this helps you to do really great work, to move things forward, and to find flow. If you're interested in more, join a cohort or subscribe to our newsletter. Bye.